so it can catch you. Okay. The back, the backyard, uh, kind of a high hazard area. So be careful. Yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> the water system is collected from off of the roof, comes down to uh, a system where one goes in, and when the tanks in the basement get filled, the other one comes out and goes back into the drain, so that there's never an overflow issue. And this it's the filtration system, one of the parts of the filtration system is keep it off clean. Real easy to clean, real easy. And this over here is all the wood uh, that is, is available to burn now, and there'll be more than that as the winter goes on. And it slides right down into the basement and you shoot down to where the wood burner is. Real cool, real cool. We can bring the pickup truck. That's through the gate that we installed over here. So it comes right back into uh, where the wood goes into the house to be burned. Hi, John. How are you? Good. Hey, right. John. I see you're working on the uh, ceiling of the house. That's great. Hi, Mark. Good. You ought to be in pictures. Voila. Yeah. Hey. How We're making you? movies today. Yeah, you getting some stuff done? I have lights. The solar system is actually up and running and giving light. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to do this. This is the first. We haven't had lights before. Go that way. He'll have them ready. Okay. Definitely be back for more filming when that's up. <laughs> we have, um, our mind is in the gutter with this idea. We want to put those up and plant leaf lettuce and spinach in those. And we're going to wait until the weather gets a little better to do that. How about these pots right here? That, that's are filled with water and when the sun is really cooking, they, get, um, they heat up really nicely. And then at night, they release their heat. But it moderates the temperature in the greenhouse. Sand. Eventually, the, the thermal mass will be all black and all sand. But right now, we just threw some stuff in here quickly so we had it. Mm -hmm. 
Now tell me a little bit about your plans for the greenhouse. Well, we uh, decided that we wanted, it, like the rest of the house, to be an experimental greenhouse where we try different things, which is why we're going to have like the gutter project. I've never done that before. Other people have, and they say it'll work. We're going to have uh, a hydroponic system on the one wall, and it's going to function off-grid with 12 volts. And um, the food that we grow will be basically um, feeding the people who are living here and um, giving to people who, um, who need food and sharing some of it with anybody who comes in and works for us, do some things. And um, we'll supplement it from other food, with other food sources as well, so there'll be a turnover of food of things coming in and going out from the greenhouse. Um, all organic, so right? All organic and all year round. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, and um, we've, we've scrounged almost everything. These incredibly large glass panels that you see up here that are now covered with snow mm -hmm. um, were all um, out of the dumpster. The guy who got them out of the dumpster charged me 80 bucks to set them in the driveway. Nice. And then we installed them. Nice. Now, this was an old patio enclosure. And what we did is we put a super heavy roof on it to hold up the super heavy glass panels. And then we supported it by 4x4 four four, uh, uh, posts. And, uh, um, now... Tell me a little bit about where the idea for the house came from. Well, uh, it's kind of like I wanted to do something with um, salvaging houses in Youngstown and rehabilitating some houses in the world. Uh, and, and, so, and I wanted a place where Occupy could be without uh, being part of any corporate structure. And so we're actually going to be able to have Occupy meetings here. It won't be affiliated with any of the exi existing um, Occupy, so it'll be our own Occupy, where we can set uh, standards for living that are congruent with our anti-corporate perspective. The folks here doing this project are very much anti-corporation. Uh, and that needs to be done. Fill that bucket up with water. We have a few leaks left, and we're saving the water to feed to the plants. Um, we wanted to be off off grid. Uh, we wanted to, uh, so that we had no corporate or government intervention uh, interactivities with, with the house. We wanted to be off corporation as much as possible as well. Um, we thought that that was the most patriotic thing that we could do. Um, I expect that the house will be used from time to time for meetings of Occupy uh, uh, supporters to. Uh, to, to, to use as a meeting place and to use as a place to gather and maybe even as a place to crash if we have an action in town. So we got that going. Um, yeah, uh, this wall over here in the greenhouse is uh, going to be where we put the solar panels. They're all going to be up above those. Okay. Yeah. And they'll be spaced. Um, now we didn't put um, uh, put them on the uh, the sun oscillators. What we did is we put them. We're going to mount them in such a way that we can move them for the different seasons and optimize uh, the, the solar uh, energy that we can produce. We also have plans on putting a windmill on the roof. Uh, and the problem with doing that is that windmills generate um, noise. Uh -huh. And Mark, the genius that he is, has designed one that's silent on the outside. And, and the only thing that makes noise will be the generator, which will be on the inside in the attic, in an insulated area, without much noise at all. So we're going to actually, may be the first time anybody's created a windmill that can actually meet the noise code of the city. How sweet is that? A new invention. It's like the, the, the 12-volt system for the, uh, um, the planting in, in water will be innovative, and as far as I know, not done before by anybody the way we're doing it. Um, the recycled everything um, is a pretty rare phenomenon for building greenhouses. Um, not everything is recycled, but the vast majority of the stuff that we're using here is recycled. Um, we've got uh, the space in the backyard that we saw. It's going to expand, and we're going to put extra stuff back there, too. We don't know exactly what, so I guess I shouldn't go into too much detail. 
time. Um, that's the greenhouse. That's what the greenhouse is about. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to wrap this one up.